Hey guys. So today we're talking about something very near and dear to my heart. Uh, something that I've only recently gotten into, unfortunately, and that's uh, D&D. Yep, that's right. Dungans and Dorgans. And of course, we can't talk about Dungeons and Dragons without uh, talking about the dice. One of the best things about Dungeons and Dragons is that you get to collect a whole bunch of dice. And I do mean way more than this. I'm very minimalistic when it comes to dice. And there are people I know that have hundreds of dice. So if you're looking for like really cool dice, you could find like a bunch of really dope ones. You can find ones that are any color of the rainbow, depending on what you want. Yeah, it's endless. And not to mention, you can find even cooler dice, dice like this that have art inside of them, which is pretty cool. Very expensive, but pretty cool. And don't even get me started on the storytelling potential for it. Sometimes the best part about D&D is the fact that you're in a different world, doing different things and experiencing drastically different environments. I'm talking about dope things like scaling the skies, going to different planes of existence like the earth plane, the fire plane, stuff like that, or even like slaying demons in hell. It's very cool. Depending on the DM, you can be very immersed into the world, and really it does come down to the DM. The DM can be very serious about what they're doing, and their characters, and their acting, and their environments, and how things are moving around you. Or they can be very lax, and you might be able to find a DM that's really chill, very fun to play with, and just does a lot of one-shots, you know. But I will say, when you find the right DM, and the storytelling is done just right, there's nothing like it. You truly escape. You're there in the moment. The stuff you do in D&D &D is going to feel awesome. You're going to feel very rewarded and you're going to love it. And you're going to be talking about this stuff forever with your friends. Like that one moment where you slay the dragon. That moment where you counterspell the wizard's super powerful spell. That moment when you save another character's life or a character passes away right in front of you. If you really wanted to and you wanted to start playing, you have this thing called D&D &D Beyond. Even if you don't want to use the you know crappy phone apps. You come here and you, you got everything. You have the books. You have the classes, you have the items all done for you. And if you and your party all get this and get the books and things, you can all play together seamlessly through the internet. If you're like me, you're, you're gonna spoil yourself and you're gonna get the physical stuff because you really like this kind of stuff. If you guys aren't convinced yet, I think I have something that might convince you. Critical Role. Critical Role is uh, the thing that actually got me into it uh, when I started college, the first year I was in college. And I, I started watching these guys and there are a bunch of voice actors that have done like a whole bunch of things that uh, you probably know. So if you can imagine a bunch of voice actors super involved in their characters and a DM super involved in their characters playing D&D, this is basically what it is. I highly recommend checking them out if you're interested in seeing the role playing side of D&D. And there's not just the role playing for D&D. If you really like board games and number crunching and stuff like that, there's definitely a metagaming side of D&D if you want to get into it that way. So there's definitely something for everybody, for sure. I think d and dope. I think it's been a great pastime and truly immersive and great for someone who's an escapist like myself. And I highly recommend anyone try it at least once. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on stream. Much love. Take care. Peace.